Brian Tomlin from Welling Garden City in Hertfordshire, Jack Mossop from Carlisle, Bob Theobald from Brentwood in Essex, Jean Hind from Tooting in London, Alison Millard from Evenley in Northamptonshire, Donald Findlay from Aberdeen, Tracy Gibson from No Man's Heath in Cheshire, Robert Wright from Clent in Worcestershire, David Tagg from Swaddling Coat in Derbyshire, Mark Bailey from Chester, David Watts from Levenheath in Suffolk, Sheila Garrard from Abingdon in Oxfordshire, Paul Jeffers Pole from Fleet in Hampshire, Leslie Brockman from Crackington Haven in Cornwall, and Albert Wetherill from Ben Burb in County Tyrone are all here to play 15 to 1. Presented by William G. Stewart. Thank you. Hello. Our previous winner today is Robert Wright from Clent in Worcestershire. Twice a winner in the past, so this is his third visit. Welcome back, Robert. There's the board, and we must now be looking for scores above 200 for the grand final. We're already here. If you're ready at home, off we go. Two questions each in the first round. One correct answer from you to survive, and we begin with Brian Tomblin from Welling Garden City. Brian, what title is held in Scotland by the chairman of the city councils of Dundee, Edinburgh and Glasgow? Rector. Lord Provost. Jack, please. Cagliari is the main city on which Mediterranean island? Sardinia. Bob, please. Academic qualifications. The letters DD after a person's name indicate what? Doctor of Divinity. Jean, please. The Bible, the New Testament. The name, please, of the high priest at the trial of Jesus? Elijah. Caiaphas. Alison, please. What happy event is to take place at St George's Chapel at Windsor on the 19th of June of this year? Uh, the marriage of Prince Edward and Sophie Rhys Jones. And Donald, there are two national parks almost wholly in North Yorkshire. The North York Moors National Park is one, which is the other? I don't know, sir. The Yorkshire Dales National Park. Tracy, European landmarks, still incomplete. The Church of the Holy Family, designed by the architect Antoni Gaudi, is in which European city? Rome. Barcelona. Robert, please. History of the 17th century. Whose head was stuck on a pole on top of Westminster Hall in London throughout most of the reign of Charles II? Oliver Cromwell's. Indeed. After they dug him up. David, please. 20th century writers. The name, please, of the compassionate chief inspector serving in the King's Markham CID, the creation of Ruth Rendell. Wexford. Yes, Reginald Wexford. Mark, please. This is 19th century literature. Missiles from Mars land in England, arousing only mild interest until they disgorge fearful war machines. London is destroyed, but finally the Martians are destroyed by earthly bacteria. That's a futuristic novel by H.G. Wells. What's the title of the novel? War of the Worlds. David, please. Douglas Hyde, 1938-45. to 45. Eamon de Valera, 1959-73. Erskine Childers, 1973-74. to 74. Presidents of which European country? Irish Republic. The Republic of Ireland will do, yes. Sheila, please. Halcyon is a poetic word used for which bird? Kingfisher. Paul, please. International organisations. In which European capital city are the headquarters of NATO? Paris. Brussels. Leslie, please. BBC Radio. Which programme on Radio 4, chaired by Humphrey Littleton, describes itself as an antidote to panel games? I'm sorry, I don't know. I'm sorry, I haven't a clue. <laughs> Albert, please. The northern part of which English county consists mainly of the Isle of Ely? Lincolnshire. Cambridgeshire. Your second question, Brian. Monarchy, which dynasty ruled in Britain from 1603 to 1714? Stuarts. They did. Jack, please. Why is Jean Chrétien a famous name in Canada? Uh, the Prime Minister. Bob, please. Proverbs. Complete this saying. He travels fastest. What comes next? No, I'm sorry. Who travels alone. Jean, Canada again. Halifax is the capital of which Canadian province? Nova Scotia. Alison, please. Economics. Whose law states that bad money drives out good? I don't know. Gresham's Law. Donald, in the game of backgammon, each player starts with how many pieces? Fifteen. Tracy, please. This is history. Which king did Robert Catesby and Guy Fawkes intend to kill by placing barrels of gunpowder below the Houses of Parliament? Um, Charles the First. James the First of England, Sixth of Scotland. Robert, please. Football and the World Cup. Which award was won by Davor Shukea of Croatia? at the 1998 World Cup in France? 
The golden boot? Yes, rather appropriate. Yes, his name's Shu Ke, I suppose. <laughs> David, politics in the USA. Prior to Bill Clinton, who was the last Democrat President of the United States? George Bush. Jimmy Carter. George was a Republican. Mark, please. The United States again and Lake Tahoe, the Hoover Dam and the gambling resort of Las Vegas. Which state are they all in? Uh, Nevada. David, please. Sport and test cricket. Between which two countries has the Frank Worrell Trophy been contested since 1964-65? England and West Indies? No, the West Indies and Australia. Sheila, please. London and the Post Office. A huge statue of the pioneer of the Penny Post stands in front of the National Postal Museum in London. His name, please. Hmm. Hit. No, Roland Hill. Oh. Paul, please. Botany, agriculture. What is viticulture the practice of? Oh, the culture of the vine. It is indeed. Grapes and vines. And Leslie, please. Words. To which bird does the adjective columbine relate? Swallow. The dove. And Albert, pseudonyms. The 19th century British novelist Mary Ann Evans. What was her famous male pseudonym? Mary. Mary Shelley. George Eliot. <laughs> Three down, 12 to go. Philip? And they are Tracy Gibson, Leslie Brockman and Albert Wetherill. And of the remaining 12 contestants, three still have their three lives intact. We start with Charles Dickens, Brian. Which impetuous, eponymous hero of a Dickens novel finds work variously as a teacher, an actor and finally as a clerk in order to support his sister and widowed mother? Nicholas Nickleby. A number, please. Number two. Jack, which method of calculating dates was invented by a Scythian abbot called Dionysius Exiguus in the 6th century AD and adopted by Bede? Uh, Julian calendar? No, the use of AD, BC. Again, please. Number three. Age at succession, 18. Age at death, 81. Which British monarch? George III. Victoria. Again, please, Brian. Number four. Which sport is played by the Nottingham Panthers, the Air Scottish Eagles and the Bracknell Bees? Speedway. Ice hockey. Again, please, Brian. Number five. The names, please, of two of the three prisons located on the Isle of Wight. Uh, Parkhurst. And? Shanklin. No, Parkhurst, Camp Hill and Albany. Again, please, Brian. Number six. Television, Donald. Theophilus P. Wildebeest. Deacus, the old Jamaican. P.C. Ganja. The pirate radio DJ Delbert Wilkins and Gareth Blackstock. Characters created over the years by which British comedian? Lenny Henry. A number, please, Donald? Twelve. Sheila, science, physics. For what is STP the abbreviation? <laughs> Standard temperature and pressure. Again, please, Donald? Thirteen. The Duke of Monmouth's Rebellion, the Battle of the Boyne and the Glencoe Massacre all took place in which century? In the 17th century. A number, please, Paul? Uh, number nine. On a roulette wheel, the numbers 1 to 36 are either black or red. What colour is zero? Green. A number, please? Um, six. Literature. A young villager with a talent and passion for scholarship is trapped into marriage by Arabella Don. When she deserts him, he goes to Christminster, where he meets and is attracted to his cousin Sue Bridehead. Which novel by Thomas Hardy? Test the Durables. Jude the Obscure. Again, please. Ten. The Levant is an old term for lands bordering the eastern end of which sea? Uh, I don't know. The Mediterranean. Again, please, David. Number eight, please. In which Noel Coward play is Madame Arcati the eccentric medium? Brief encounter. No. Blythe Spirit. Again, please. Number 11, please. The Bible, please, David. Joseph of the Coat of Many Colours was an oniroscopist at the Pharaoh's court. What is an oniroscopist? <laughs> No? It's a person who interprets dreams. Again, please. 13. Sport, please, Paul. Which now world-famous club was formed in 1754 by 22 noblemen and gentlemen at St Andrews in Scotland? Oh, the Royal and Ancient Golf Club. Of St Andrews, yes. Onwards, please. A number? Uh, three, please. In which county are Amersham, Burnham Beaches and Chequers? Buckinghamshire. A number, Bob, please. Eight. The name, please, of the village in Italy containing an exclave of the Vatican City, which is the summer residence of the Pope. No, sorry, I don't know. Castel Gandolfo. Again, please. Ten. 
Who is the narrator of Treasure Island who set sail with Squire Trelawney and Dr. Livesey in the Hispaniola to find buried treasure? Bang on. Jim Hawkins. Again, please. Eleven. Decoupage. Decoupage is the art of decorating a surface with what? Uh -huh. No? With cut out pictures or shapes. Again, please. Five. In the field of factual television, what does the abbreviation ENG stand for? I don't no? know. Electronic news gathering. Again, please. Two. On which battlefield in the 15th century did the Crown change hands, passing from the House of York to the Tudors? Uh, Bosworth. Yes, Bosworth Field. Yes. Onwards. Number 13. In which field of the arts is the Japanese-born Kazuo Ishiguro a famous name in Britain? Oh, he's a novelist. He is. In fact, a Booker Prize winner. Onwards. Uh, number 8, please. Genesis. Which son of Jacob was sold by his brothers for 20 pieces of silver? Isaac. Joseph. Again, please, Paul. Number two, please. Greendale is a setting for which children's animation series on BBC One? Sorry, no idea. Postman Pat. Again, please, Paul. Number six, please. Renowned in Germany, what name is given to the rich dessert wine made from grapes that are picked when frozen on the vine and pressed before they thaw? What's that called? I don't know. Einstein. Again, please, Paul. Number 12, please. Meteorology deals with the study of short-term changes in the weather. Which science is the study of changes over long periods of time? Climatology. It is climatology. Onwards, please, Sheila. A number? Nine. Famous quotations, David. Oh, east is east and west is west, and never the twain shall meet. Whose famous words are those? No idea. Rudyard Kipling. Again, please, Sheila. Three. The National Centre for which sports, or what sort of sports, is based at Home Pierpont in Nottinghamshire? Rowing. Yes, water sports, OK, yes. Onwards. 13. Which book in the Old Testament is the first book of Moses? Genesis. Onwards. One, please. Brian, who holds the post of Lord Warden and Admiral of the Sink Ports? Queen Mother. On we go. Number 10. Banjul, B-A-N-J-U-L, Banjul, is the capital city of which African country? I don't know. Gambia. Again, please, Brian. Number four. The president of the council's office is based in Whitehall. President of which council? Privy Council. A number, please, Jim. Number 13. Paul, science. What term or word describes the conversion of a liquid to a gas? Vaporisation. Well, my card says evaporation, but I'll take vaporisation. On we go. Uh, number one, please. Which famous World War II prisoner of war camp was located in a castle on a steep hill 30 miles southwest of Leipzig? Colditz. Number, please. Number 12. Greek mythology, Sheila. Triton was a sea god. Which other deity was his father? Poseidon. Yes. A number, please. Four. English law, Jean. A coroner has to be a qualified member of five years' standing in one of three professions, either a solicitor or a barrister or what? No, I don't know. A doctor. Again, please, Sheila. Two. Jack, for what, according to legend, is Pheidippides, a 5th century BC Greek, now best remembered? He ran the first marathon. Yeah, well, he ran from marathon to Athens, yes. I don't think it was a race in those well. days, Jack, but he did do the run. Onwards, please. A number? Thirteen. Paul, what does it mean if a substance is described as friable? F-R-I-A-B-L-E. Friable. It crumbles. It does. means exactly that. Uh, number three, please. Energy, Bob. What name is given to the power obtained by using heat from the Earth's interior? <laughs> Geothermal. Paul? Number two, please. Astronomy and legend, Jack. Which constellation is named after a mythological creature famous for its golden fleece? Uh, <coughs> pardon me, Aries. Yes, the ram. A number? Uh, nine. David, the chief naval battle of the First World War. In Germany, it is known as the Skagerrak. How is it known in Britain? Jutland. Yes, Battle of Jutland. Uh, Twelve, please. Sheila, words. What sort of name is a patronymic? Named after your father. Yes, or any male ancestor. A number? One, please. Science and chemistry, Brian. What is the dissolved substance in a solution called? Solvent. No, the solute. Again, Sheila? Thirteen. Shakespeare and mythology. In Greek mythology, who was the queen of the Amazons, who also appears as the bride of Theseus in A Midsummer Night's Dream? Hippolyta. A number, Paul? 
Uh, one, please. What is an electric current that regularly reverses its direction of flow called, Brian? Don't know. Alternating current. Paul, please. Uh, nine. Quotations, David. Following a battle of 279 BC, who said, such another victory and we are ruined? Julius Caesar. King Pyrrhus. It is, as it has to be, 12 down, 3 to go, and after the break, Jack Mossop from Carlisle, Sheila Garrard from Abingdon in Oxfordshire, and Paul Jeffries pole from Fleet in Hampshire will be here for the final. Do please stay with us. You have 30 seconds to answer the following questions. Find the missing numbers. Two cars start 100 miles apart on a long straight road at 5 p.m. One travels at 60 miles per hour, the other at 40. What time will they pass? Look carefully at this equation. Clever, isn't it? Test drive your IQ now. The Renault Laguna. Is this your job? <laughs> no. Your granddad and I don't work anymore. Who takes care of you then? Well, we've got our pension with Standard Life. Are they any good? Standard Life take good care of us. And they've been investing really well for years. So they're old then? Hmm. But they keep going from strength to strength. Granny, is granddad going from strength to strength? I don't think so, dear. Standard Life, for pensions, savings and investments. Computerised shows us what you look like in different frames and you can wear your old glasses so it's easy to see which pair suits you best. Any questions? Mr Hamilton? You don't think I'm going to get double chin, do you? Computerised at Dolland and Aitchison. You have 30 seconds to answer the following questions. How many numbers between 0 and 60 begin or end with 3? What colour are little green apples? Which is the odd one out? 16-valve performance, ABS, alloy wheels, air conditioning, indoor swimming pool, electric sunroof, CD player, £15,200. Test drive your IQ now. The Renault Laguna. Surviving contestants in today's 15 to 1 final are Jack Mossop, a draftsman from Carlisle, Sheila Garrard, a part time teacher from Abingdon in Oxfordshire, and Paul Jeffries Pole, a retired university lecturer from Fleet in Hampshire. Thank you. Welcome back. Jack, Sheila, Paul, put your fingers on the buzzers. Here we go. Who was imprisoned in the Tower of London in 1746 for her part in helping. Jack? Flora MacDonald. Astronomy. He published a major work in 1705 and predicted correctly that a great comet would return in 1758. Jack? Halley. Yes, Edmund Halley. Art and famous paintings. The Luncheon of the Boating Party, The Umbrellas and Bathers. Major works. Paul? Renoir. Yes, Pierre Auguste. On we go. Which four letters which stood for the Roman Senate and people? Jack? SPQR. Three correct answers, Jack. Question or nominate? Uh, Paul. Chemistry. Which chemical element has the symbol P? Potassium. Phosphorus. Again, please, Jack. Question or nominate? Nominate Sheila. Sheila. Proverbs. What, according to various sayings, is sweet, a pilgrimage and a bowl of cherries? Love. Life is just a bowl of cherries. Jack. Question or nominate? Nominate Paul. Paul. What name is given to the diacritic mark used in the French language which changes the sound of a C to an S before a vowel? A cedilla. Question or nominate? Uh, nominate Jack. Jack, television. Which programme is on BBC One at 8.30am on most Sundays of the year? Sorry, don't know. Breakfast with Frost. Again, please, Paul. Uh, Sheila. Sheila. Religion. What name is given collectively to the series of usually 14 representations of successive incidents from the Passion of Christ visited in sequence for prayer or meditation? Uh, 
uh, Stations of the Cross. Question or nominate? Nominate Paul. Paul Charles Dickens, A Tale of Two Cities, was based on which major European historical event? The French Revolution. Question or nominate? Uh, question, please. Classical music, the British composer, please, of the Young Person's Guide to the Orchestra, Gloriana and Billy Budd. Benjamin Britten. Question or nominate? Question, please. What optical phenomenon occurs when falling water droplets are illuminated by sunlight behind the observer? Rainbow. Yes. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Come along then, Paul. Catch I think I'll nominate uh, <laughs> Sheila, please. Sheila, what term is used to refer to the power given to any permanent member of the Security Council of the United Nations to refuse to agree to any non-procedural proposal and thereby defeat it? No idea. That's called the power of veto. Paul, please. Uh, Jack, please. Musicals. Which Andrew Lloyd Webber musical opens at an auction of items from the vaults of a theatre in Paris? Uh, Phantom of the Opera. Question or nominate? Uh, question. The European Union anthem. Whose music and whose words, please? Uh, Beethoven, Schiller. Question or nominate? Uh, nominate Paul. Paul, World War II. If a military unit had landed in Normandy on D-Day plus one, what date would that have been? The 7th of June, 1944. Question or nominate? Uh, nominate Jack, please. Jack, the USA. Between 1929 and 1933, the President of the United States and the Director of the FBI, though unrelated, had the same surname. What surname? Hoover. Question or nominate? Uh, nominate Paul. Musicals again, Paul. The name, please, of the stage musical based on Bizet's opera with a new libretto by Oscar Hammerstein in which the bullfighter Escamillo becomes the boxer Husky Miller. Carmen Jones. Question or nominate? Uh, question, please. In which decade of this century did Queen Victoria die, did Marconi transmit the first wireless message across the Atlantic and were the Olympic Games held in London? The first decade, the 1900s. Question or nominate? A uh, question, please. Sports and games. This is table tennis. In championship table tennis, what happens if the score in a game reaches 20 all? Well, you go to deuce and it's the next one to get two points successively. Or two clear points. All right, it's a strange way of saying it, Paul, but OK. <laughs> I'll have you. Yeah, I'll uh, nominate uh, Jack, please. Jack, look at this, please, Jack, and tell me what is indicated by this safety symbol? Uh, toxic substance? Yes, poison toxic. Question or nominate? Nominate Paul. Paul, two brothers, Jakob and Wilhelm, collected German folk tales which they published between 1812 and 1822. What was their family name? Grimm. Question or nominate? Question, please. Australia. Its Aboriginal name is Uluru. It is the largest monolith in the world. Its more common and popular name, please? Ayers Rock. Question or nominate? Question, please. The River Tamar forms most of the boundary between which two English counties? Devon and Cornwall. Question or nominate? Question, please. Quotations. Let us be frank about it, most of our people have never had it so good. From a 1957 speech by which British Prime Minister? Harold Macmillan. Question or nominate? Question, please. Theatre. Mrs Boyle, Giles Ralston and Detective Sergeant Trotter are characters in which long-running West End play? The Mousetrap. Question or nominate? Uh, nominate Jack. Jack, a chair is the collective name for a team of craftsmen working in which material? Wood. Glass. Again, please, Paul. Uh, Sheila, please. Sport and Rugby Union. Which player puts the ball into a set scrum in a game of Rugby Union? Scrum half. Indeed, Sheila. Question or nominate? Uh, Jack. Jack, Scotland's third largest city is the main centre for offshore North Sea oil exploration. Which city? Aberdeen. Question or nominate? Uh, nominate Paul. Paul, people of which South American city are called Paulistas? Sao Paulo. Question or nominate? Uh, nominate Sheila. Sheila, classic television families. In which television family are Lily and Grandpa, vampires, Eddie a werewolf, and Herman, a Frankenstein monster lookalike? The Adams. Monsters. Oh. <laughs> yeah. And I think I'm back with you, Paul. Question or nominate? Question, please. Weapons. Which weapon was decisive in the British victories against the French at Cressy and Agincourt? The longbow. Question or nominate? Nominate, please. Classical music, Jack. Whose waltz in D-flat major is popularly known as the Minute Waltz? Chopin. Question or nominate? Uh, nominate, Paul. Paul, which famous landmark stands at Agra in India? The Taj Mahal. Question or nominate? 
Nominate, please. Which Suffolk Town is the home of the National Horse Rating Museum? Newmarket. Question or nominate? Nominate, Paul. Paul, what in the Yellowstone National Park in America is known as Old Faithful? Oh, it's a geezer. Question or nominate? Nominate, Jack, please. English grammar, Jack. What are the two indefinite articles, please, in the English language? Uh, a and an. Question or nominate? Uh, nominate, Paul. Paul, music. In which work by Offenbach does the can-can music feature? <laughs> Orpheus in the underworld. Yeah. <laughs> right. And again, Jack, please. Uh, Paul again, please. This is literature again. Who created the fictional schools, Mallory Towers and St. Clair's? E. Nesbitt. No, it's wrong. No, Edith Blyton. Edith Blyton, can I have that? <laughs> yeah. no, you, you can if you stop shouting at me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if, uh, right, I'll uh, have a question, please. Right. Whitstable, Hearn Bay and Broadstairs are on the coast of which county? Kent. Well, there you are. I think before we go on, excuse me, I think we're ten points short in the confusion there. That should be 202, making it. There you are. Your winning score, Paul, is 202. Ten for that, 212. Eighth position on the finals board. Well done, both of you. Well done. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you. Thank you. Nothing else to say. We'll be back tomorrow. See you then.